Hey guys, and welcome to Gearhawk Farms. And in this video, I'm going to be making two barn quilts for our newest building on the farm, which is the bull barn. And if you want to know more about this barn, which is the bull barn, go check out the barn tour that my brother and my dad made. And without further ado, I'm going to go make the barn quilts. So I'm making two shield flags, a Swiss flag, and then a St. Gallen flag, which is a territory in Switzerland. And I already got the sketching down. For the flags, all I gotta do is uh, cut them out now. And I used these to sketch out the shield, which I cut out. And now I'm gonna use the circular saw and uh, cut these out and then uh, trace on the two symbols that are on the flags and uh, paint them. I got my piece of plywood up on the table saw. I cranked down the blade. And this is going to be my flat surface that I'm going to clamp this uh, piece of plywood down on. And uh, I'm going to use the circular saw and cut these two flags out. And if you're wondering, these flags are going to be 2 by 4 feet. And uh, yeah, I'm going to clamp this down and start cutting away. As you can tell, I uh, put the sander here, and the reason why is because I didn't want to like have this snap here, and it uh, snapped over here, if you guys could tell. When I was cutting off that big piece, it snapped off, and I don't want that to happen here. Uh, it didn't matter over here, because as you can tell, uh, that's where the shield's going to be, and this is just going to be excess. But right here, that's gonna be the shields. Uh, and I don't want that snapping off. I just put the sander there so it would be more balanced and it wouldn't like fall off and snap off. All right, well, I'll get back to it. I got the board in two pieces and these are going to be the shields and now I'm going to use a bandsaw and cut off this excess wood that I don't need and I'm going to sketch on the symbols and uh, start painting. So the blade just fell off on the bandsaw and well now I'm gonna have to fix it. I finished cutting out the shields and now I'm gonna have to sand it because if you look close here the edge is so bumpy. So I'm going to sand it and uh, make it look a lot finer and uh, a, lot, a lot nicer. Now I got the sanding done and the edges are looking a lot smoother. I just finished sketching out each of the symbols on the flags. Now this is the St. Gallen flag where it has the barrel and then the axe and then this is the Swiss flag that has the big cross or plus. And I just started uh, getting the painter's tape on the Swiss flag uh, because I need to get tape over these two symbols and then I'll paint the primary colors on the two flags. I 
just finished putting the painters tape on the symbols and this is how they look right now it's actually pretty cool uh this this flag or symbol took probably like four or five times as long as this one this one's really simple and uh this was a lot more complex uh symbol so i got my uh paint for the swiss flag we have uh some red gloss paint and then for the St. Gallen flag, we have some green gloss. Oh, that green, dude. I don't know. I ran out of red paint. I'm gonna have to get some more of that. And uh, we got the green shield all painted up. This is gonna be the first coat. We're gonna be putting three coats on uh, each color. And uh, there's gonna be three different colors on that one and only two on this one. This one's gonna be red and then white. And then this one has uh, green, black, and white. It has black outlines and then in the middle it's white. That's the first coat on the on the primary color of the shield. And uh, yeah, I just finished uh, painting the first color on the St. Gallen flag and it's time for the big reveal now. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's gonna look so cool when it's done. So I made quite a bit of progress on the taping, as you can see. And what I'm doing here is uh, making these lines. So uh, these are gonna be black lines and uh, I have to cut out some tape and I gotta put some more tape on and uh, I kinda have to eyeball it, but I think I've done pretty good so far. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I have to do all these uh, little uh, bulbs on uh, each end and I have to do the axe and this is probably the most interesting uh, taping part of this uh, entire video that you'll see uh, I uh, painted uh, the plus and the Swiss flag but I ran into a problem so I didn't put enough tape down and the white would sprinkle on the red so I had to repaint some of the red so I'm gonna have to put down a lot more tape so uh, the white doesn't uh, go on the red and uh, yeah, that's gonna be a bunch of work, but it'll be worth it in the end. And also in the background, you guys might hear the frogs. It's actually kind of laid out. I just had a long day. We picked up my cousin from Switzerland from the airport, and we went to the Mall of America. So that was exciting. And uh, now I'm finishing this, so I can have it done in uh, two days. So. So we just finished the top and there's the axe. All I got left is uh, these f f bottom four and then I'm done. And then I gotta cut out all these spaces and uh, tape up the rest of this so it doesn't get black spray paint on it. And uh, yeah, then we're done.
So that is all the tape off. So you're seeing all the parts that are going to be painted white. And oh my gosh, does this look cool. It is crazy. You know, I might just keep it like this. I am super happy with the, the taping job I did. And it turned out beautiful. The only really part that I kind of messed up is right here. It, it doesn't really like curve. It just kind of cuts. But we're going to be able to fix that when we're uh, painting all the white. So I just finished the St. Gallen flag taping. So now we're going to paint it white. We uh, covered up all the black lines. And uh, yeah, it's ready for paint. And it actually looks really cool. It looks like it has a black highlight. I'm excited. I also cleaned up and chipped off some paint on the Swiss flag. And now we're going to paint both of the shields. Uh, white. Here's a rooster that's been hanging out with me almost the entire time I've been doing this. <laughs> I named him Chad, and he's a really pretty rooster, probably the prettiest rooster. He's just like all white and he has black on his tail, which is really cool. Alright, I'm here with my cousin Yannick, and he's from Switzerland. And uh, right now we're gonna, it's the big reveal. It's time for the big reveal. And we're gonna peel off the tape for the Swiss flag. And it's either gonna be a jaw dropping moment where it's gonna look super, super cool, or the tape didn't work and the paint bled through and it's not gonna have sharp lines. So cross your fingers. There's a lot of hours went into this. Yeah, I really like this red, it's like glowing. Yeah, it's really I'm gonna have to go over it with a, either a brush or some. Well, it's not gonna be extremely noticeable, but yeah, that's the Swiss flag. It, it would be nice to get the edges a little sharper. But yeah, it's done. I'm so happy. I, I would have liked it to turn out a little better on these edges, but it's not really gonna notice it. Like, I mean, I'm gonna walk back here and just tell me in the comments. If you can really notice the edges from that far away. And uh, we're gonna finish the St. Gallen flag next. And uh, it's getting really close. Tomorrow is gonna be the day for the big reveal on the St. Gallen flag. I feel like Bob Ross is in this thing. <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about. Works really good when we dab it. Yeah. With these kinds of brushes. Uh, it's fine. Oh. I can maybe put green paint over it again. Yeah, and you don't see black on green as well as you, uh, as good as you see. Uh, white on black or black on white. Yeah, exactly. It's looking a lot better. A lot straighter lines. There's still some little things I have to do. But I'll just go over it real quick with a paintbrush and do the really, really fine detail. Like there's a white spot I have to put here. Uh, there's some green I have to put on the edges. There's some black still I have to put there. And just make like really, really small details. So I'll get that done and uh, yeah, that should be about it. It's finally done after all this time. And yeah, I think it looks great. And Make sure to go subscribe and hit the notification bell. So go smash the like button. Hope you guys enjoy. And we're going to go hang this up.